Brothers and sisters, I want to begin with saying something important. So the tragedy that happened to me was now three and a half years ago, and it's amazing how time flies. Uh, my mother and I and our family are still frozen in time. That's how it is. That's how it feels when people lose loved ones. Depending on how valuable they were, the more frozen in time you become. There are some things when you have a loss that are very human to you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places them in you. Don't be afraid of them. They're very normal for every human, Muslim or non-Muslim. Don't feel bad that if you cry a bit, that if you're sad, that the pain stays even for the rest of your life. That's a normal thing for a human being. And the reason why I opened up with that is because people think something's wrong with them when a tragedy happens. They usually come to me and ask, what can I do? When's this pain going to go? The honest truth is the pain doesn't go. The more you love someone, the more the pain stays. But is pain a bad thing, really? Our mindset tells us it's a ba bad thing. But pain is not necessarily a bad thing, brothers and sisters. This entire life is built on it. It's built on happiness, sadness. Some people will come into this life. Some people will leave. Some people before us, some people after us. Then comes our time. But I'll tell you something, brothers and sisters. There are two things we are very sure about. Number one, not a single prick of a needle that a person goes through. Or a single bit of worry, a single bit of sadness, a single bit of fear. Not even anxiety, just even fear before you get to there. A little bit of worry, not even depression, before you even get there. Even a little bit of a word that someone hurt you with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't leave that out. He acknowledges it. That's the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu He said, even the prick of a needle, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compensates them by forgiving of their past sins. Do you know what it means to forgive of our past sins? It means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He brings us back to the way we were, we were when we were born. And the only thing we have with us are our good deeds. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing us closer to Jannah. Because Jannah doesn't accept anybody with any sins upon them. You might be thinking, what if, how does that make sense? You see, brothers and sisters, even on the Day of Judgment, anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges us with, if there's still sins, He forgives them, He takes care of them, and until you enter paradise free, with no guilt, no regret, nothing. Brothers and sisters, pain is inevitable for everybody. Death is inevitable. Isn't that true? What, what is death to you? What is it? Let's understand something. Death is nothing but this. According to the Qur'an and our beliefs, death is merely going from one place to another place. From this world to another world. That's all it is. And when you go from this world to another world, your soul goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why we say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. To Allah we belong and to Him we shall return. Those were the first words I said when my son passed away, rahmatullah alayhi, and upon all your loved ones. That's the first word I said two hours later when my brother passed away, rahmatullah alayhi, and your loved ones. And that brought serenity on top of the pain that I was going with. My mother, my father, my siblings, all of us, my children, his mother, everybody was in turmoil. But, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. What is sabr? Patience. Patience is to hold yourself together. It's not that you have to get rid of the feeling and the pain that you're going through. It's with the pain you hold yourself together from doing things that displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even if you do, return back and repent and say, Oh Allah, forgive me. There's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu where they said that what if a person went through pain and struggle and failed the first time and didn't say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. The scholars tell us from this hadith that even if you say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un, afterwards, months later, it'll still be counted for you. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ says that when Allah takes a loved one, especially for children, if He takes your children away, or any loved one, Allah says to the angels, how did you leave my servant? 
Like, did you take his soul? Did you take his loved one's soul? Did you take the heart of his, of, of his life? Did you take the thing that's most dear to him? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. He knows, brothers and sisters. He knows your pain. He knows your tears. He knows your, what you're feeling. He knows everything already. And since he knows, there is a plan, insha'Allah ta'ala. Did you take his beloved one? And they say, yes, ya Rabb, even though he knows. And then finally, Allah says, وَمَاذَا قَالَ abdi? What did my dear servant say? Allah is listening. He is with you. That's why he's asking this question, because he's acknowledging your pain. It's not like, I don't want to hear about it. No, Allah is saying, what did my, what did my servant say? He's making the whole angels witness. قَالُوا رَبَّنَا Our Lord and you know best. حَمِدَكَ وَاسْتَرْجَعَ <laughs> Your servant said, Alhamdulillah, gratitude to Allah in every way. وَاسْتَرْجَعَ Meaning they said, to Allah we belong and to Him we shall return. Do you know what that means? It means whether those people have passed away before you by a little bit, you're still going to follow anyway. Soon we're all going to meet each other again. It's only a small time, it's only a short time. Think about yourselves, how old you are right now. Think about the years that have passed. How quick were they? Sisters, being sad is something normal. It's a part of human being. It's a part of human life. But don't let sadness and anxiety make you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't give up on your life because of sadness. And don't let anxiety take away peace from your life. Have patience and hold yourself together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will eventually bring you out from every problem that you are going through. Every sadness that you are going through, one day you will feel better and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you happy. Don't think that Allah wants you to be sad. No, Allah will test each and every one of us and every one of us we have different sets of trials and tribulations in our life. So. Don't give up hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are in this earth for a very short period of time. When you are successful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests you. And if you are successful in this test, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you both in this dunya and in the akhirah. So don't be worried. Your test is for a short period of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna ma'al usri yusra verily with hardship comes ease so if you are going through some sort of tests and trials very soon it is going to be over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring ease in your life will bring comfort in your life so you and I we have to turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to strengthen our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all our grief, sadness and anxiety will go away. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.